Have you ever seen a king or queen in real life? Most of us will never ever see one, but did you know that you can have a personal friendship with the greatest king of all? For real, you can. Listen closely to find out how and what any of this, what all of this has to do with the name of Jesus. At the time that Jesus lived on earth, the nation of Israel was ruled by another country, Rome. And the people longed for a king to come from the great King David's family and to free them from Rome, to make them a great nation again. This is what they were longing to see happen. Jesus, in God's perfect plan, he chose to be born. And he was born into the family of King David. Now, this was not an accident. God had planned this because Jesus, he came as the promised king. In fact, the Bible tells us he's called the king of kings. That's one of his names, king of kings. In fact, when Jesus was just a baby, he was honored by wise men who recognized him as the king and honored him greatly as king. As an adult, Jesus rode into the capital city of Israel, Jerusalem, on a donkey. This was a sign that kings were coming in peace, that they were coming in humility. They were not proud. This is how Jesus came in when he was on earth into Jerusalem on a donkey, on that donkey showing peace, humility. See, Jesus, he is the king. He's the king of kings. But he didn't come to do what the people thought the king was supposed to do and what they wanted. He didn't come to free people from Rome or to set up his kingdom on earth right then. That's not why he came. Jesus came to make the way to free people from a far greater problem than Rome. And that problem is a problem you and I have that we need someone to free us from it. And that is sin. Sin is what you do, say, and think that goes against God. Maybe you're just having a really bad attitude and you're being unkind to all people around you. That's sin. Or maybe you're planning ways to get even with somebody who's not been very nice. Or just even saying things that aren't true. These things are sin. And you were born knowing how to sin, wanting to sin, choosing to sin. And your sin separates you from the one true God who is all good, who is all perfect. And your sin, the punishment is to be away from God forever. And it is awful. That is terrible. But Jesus came to set you free from your sin and from the punishment of your sin. While on earth, Jesus perfectly obeyed God in all things, doing only what would please God. And then as part of that plan as the king of kings to make a way to free you from sin, Jesus allowed people who did not believe he is God or the one true king to nail him on a cross where he gave his blood and his life to pay for your sin. He died and he was placed in a tomb. He was buried, but he came back to life on that third day to show that he is the one true God, that he has the power to set people free from sin, that he is the promised king. He is the one that can free them from their greatest problem of sin. Jesus came to free you from your sin. You can have your sin forgiven through believing in him and no longer be separated from him. The great, mighty king of kings wants to free you from your sin and give you a personal friendship with him to make you part of his family, his child, which would make you a prince or a princess. One day, Jesus will come back. Now, right now he's in heaven. He's ruling over everything as the mighty, great king of kings. But one day he will come back and he'll come back on a white horse, a sign of power as a mighty king. And he will get rid of sin once and for all. He will make everything good and right. He will never stop ruling. He will always have that rule as the king of kings. Will you choose to believe in Jesus as the king of kings who came to set you free from your sin, to give you a personal friendship with him, and to make you part of his family, his prince? 
or his princess? Whenever you're ready to believe on Jesus, you can. You can talk to God and tell him you know you've done wrong and you're sorry for that. You can tell God what you believe about who Jesus is and what he did to free you from your sins. And then you can tell God that you want him to forgive you. You want him to come into your life to help you to live to please him and to make you part of his forever family, his son or daughter, prince or princess. He promises when you believe you will be forgiven, you will become his child forever. You'll still be part of your earthly family, but you'll be part of God's forever family. Will you believe on Jesus today as the King of Kings to free you from your sin? Now, if you've already trusted Jesus as your Savior, then you are a child of the King. But are you letting Jesus be in charge of your life? Are you letting him be the King of your heart? Or are you still trying to be in charge and live things your way instead of God's way? God is in your life and he will help you to live his way. Ask him to help you each day and make him king of your heart. Think about what would please him and what you say, think, or do. Thinking about him first and honoring him as king of your heart. Will you follow God this week as king of your heart? Now today, if you chose to believe in Jesus for the very first time, or you have questions about that, we would love to talk with you. Or if you've already trusted Jesus and you have more questions about him or the Bible, we'd love to hear from you too. If you're watching on Facebook, you can either email us at the address on the screen or you can comment below. If you're watching on YouTube, then you can email us at that address. We would love to hear from you and talk to you and even pray for you. But remember, Jesus, he is the King of Kings. Will you choose to let him free you from your sin by believing in him? And then will you make him king of your heart by following him? Until next time, bye.